So Google pulls the plug on uBlock Origin, leaving over 30 million Chrome users susceptible to intrusive ads. Google's campaign against ad blockers across its services just got more aggressive, according to a report by PC World. The company has made some alterations to its existing uh, to its extension support on Google Chrome. Google Chrome recently changed its extension support from the Manifest V2 framework to the new Manifest V3 framework. The browser policy changes will impact one of the most popular ad blockers, arguably, uBlock Origin. The transition to the Manifest V3 framework means extensions like uBlock Origin can't use remotely hosted code. According to Google, it presents security risks by allowing unreviewed code to be executed in extensions. The new policy changes will only allow an extension to execute JavaScript as part of its package. Over 30 million Google Chrome users use uBlock Origin, but the tool will be automatically disabled soon via an update. Google will let users enable the feature via the settings for a limited period before it's completely scrapped. From this point, users will be forced to switch to another browser or choose another ad blocker. And this is coming from Windows Central. So first off, Explain to everyone what uBlock Origin is. It's an ad blocker. You've seen ad blockers before. uBlock Origin is the ad blocker we use uh, internally. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great. It helps us prevent sites from launching uh, malicious code through pop-ups. It helps keep the internet much more user-friendly and easy to navigate. Um, you can see why Google would want to fight this technology because it does things like blocking YouTube ads. Um, and it blocks a lot of tracking technology as well, which is very important to advertisers. And in our case, very important that we have turned off because we don't want to see our own traffic when we're checking out the results of our advertising and our work for clients. So, Overall, I am a fan of ad blockers. Yeah, me too. I mean, yeah. every consumer who's spending a ton of time on the internet should probably have an ad blocker installed. Um, the changes Google is making are pretty upsetting if you're used to having access to this technology. Yep. Um, you know, it doesn't block things like uh, search engine result ads. Right. So like, great, if you're gonna make a, let's just be very clear here, if you're gonna make a search on Google and the search engine result page shows, you know, page one, it doesn't prevent an ad from showing at the top of page one or at the bottom of page one. It doesn't interfere with that. So we're not talking about that. We're, so if, you're, if you are advertising on Google, like, like we do, like a lot of people do, um, uBlock Origin and other ad blockers do not block that type of ad from displaying to a customer or a potential customer, so that's fine. If you're an older user and you were on the internet back in the 90s, you remember how bad things got. Oh, it was. With the pop-ups everywhere, <laughs> things becoming completely yeah. unusable, viruses all over the place. I mean, those days are behind us. Yep. And a big part of that is uh, the prevalence yep. and the quality of the ad blockers that we have available now. So, yep. Ad blockers are pretty important to all kinds of people. They're important to us for how we actually mm -hmm. mask our traffic, traffic when reviewing our own content. Um, and they're, they're important for consumers for keeping your computers safe from malicious code, launched in pop-up ads, um, and just for making the internet a much more pleasant browsing experience. Yeah. Uh, but Google claims that they have really important reasons for removing this, this technology. They're claiming that it's uh, preventing security risks through unreviewed code. I mean, there's a question of how legitimate is Google's excuse for blocking this feature, when really, I think, yeah. in my opinion, it's pretty clear that the reason they don't want people to have ad blockers is because it hides the ads, which is where Google makes most of their, most of their money. Yeah. I think they're doing it for financial ad-driven reasons before security reasons, if there's any legitimacy, to, if there's any legitimacy to these security concerns at all. So this is this is I completely agree with you. This is like how legitimate is Google's reason for this? Now, big companies don't announce that they've got this big security uh, vulnerability because that invites people to exploit this security. So they're never going to be 100% truthful if if they're saying, oh yeah, there's these super unsecure, our browser's no longer secure. They're never gonna come out and say that. They're trying to stay a step ahead of that. Cool, so like, is it legit? Now, uh, the, yeah. the, the excuse of trying to avoid security concerns, that's been used before. It's been that's, used It's been used times. 
over and over again. I think that's that's um, one of the big pushes against having competing app stores on iOS devices. Is Apple says, oh, it's a closed ecosystem. We don't want to let in unsafe apps. They have to use ours that are all vetted. Um, that actually brings me to one of my biggest rebuttals against removing these features. Okay, Google doesn't want apps to be able to run code that isn't bundled into the app itself. They don't want them to be able to run unreviewed code, except for JavaScript, fine. That means there's a lot less you can do with these apps. People need access to that functionality in order to do some of the things that the apps are built for. Um, I think limiting that feature entirely is a bit of a drastic step in addressing these privacy concerns, particularly when you could also address the privacy concerns by just doing a stronger job vetting the companies that are on your app store and have access to this functionality in the first place. Yeah. Um, I think this comes down to money. Yeah. This is a money play. Um, now, in the world of ad blockers and browsers and technology companies, um, it's always attack and defense. It's always the browser does something to defend itself so that it's, it's, it's ads will show and then the ad blocker will make an update and it goes back and forth. It's attack and defend, attack and defend. And that battle I don't think will ever stop because there are very, very good developers on both sides of the equation. There are. So this might be the end of what we know as uBlock Origins as it sits today. And uh, people, businesses don't go down without a fight. I think it won't be very long before there's another version of something that's going to pop back up. Now, whether that's you or, or, or people just switch to another browser or yeah. Right? And yeah, that's you could switch here. to DuckDuckGo. You could switch to well, even Firefox. Firefox. You could switch to a whole bunch of other things like that's yep. always been an option. That's always been an option. And I like the fact that like, you know, if it's not a good experience, it's not a good experience. And uh, if they destroy their own ecosystem through uh, only focusing on the bottom line, they, they will lose, because um, again, how, how hard is it to download another? Every single computer that you ever buy comes with Internet Explorer. What's the purpose of Internet Explorer, Matt? Uh, to download Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little Rick and Morty. Uh, which uh, might be, you know what? It might be for um, Firefox. Now it might or, just be for Firefox. Uh, Brave Browser is getting pretty popular as well. Yep. Um, so Yeah, there's lots of options out there other than running Google Chrome. Yep. And I'll tell you, the second my ad blocker stops working, I'll be looking for something else because yep. it's immediate. You're going to see the decline, and that'll be the day I switch browsers. Yeah, hundred percent. So, so like what now? That's a great question. Is like, oh, so sorry. Yeah, our ad blocker is important. Yeah, very. Like, like Aaron said, if it if it stops working, and our experience is negatively impacted to the degree that I expect it will be. Yeah, it's very. It, it, it's it's it takes six seconds. Yeah. Boom. New new. Uh, New browser gets installed, some plugins get put in place, and you're up and running. And you, it's it's probably a 15 minute total total. I would also Great. argue that it's disingenuous for Google to say that ad blockers cause privacy concerns when there's so many, uh, or not privacy, security security concerns. security concerns. When there's you know when there's such a high risk of clicking on a sketchy pop up and downloading something malicious. I'm way more concerned about getting bad code off of a random ad somewhere yeah. on the internet than I am um, downloading uBlock Origin or installing uBlock Origin. Which That's is, trusted by 30 million people. Well, this is exactly it, right? Like it's been in use for a long time. Um, I think, you know, even if you restricted this feature to companies that are over a certain scale, that's going to do a lot to solve Google's legitimate security concerns without shutting down access to apps and features that people really rely on. Uh, we're gonna come back to Google.